Okay, now geometrical representation of pairs of linear equation into variables. In the last class, we have I told you that uh, these are linear equation represent line on the graph sheet. Okay, so now a pair of linear equation a one x plus b one y plus c one equal to zero, a two x plus b two y plus c two equal to zero. One pair of equation means two straight lines. Okay, what kind of straight lines they can be? Sometimes the two straight lines, if drawn on the same graph sheet, they intersect at a point like this. They intersect here. Okay. What are the other chances? What are the other chances? They may go parallel, or one line run over the other. We can call them as coincident lines. One line run over the other. So these three possibilities are there. Okay, three possibilities. So now let us see some questions uh, taking the statements. Then how they are. Algebraic representation and their geometrical or graphical representation we see. Algebraic representation means for the given situation you are writing a pair of equations in x and y. This is algebraic equation. Algebraic representation of the given problem situation. If you are drawing them in a graph sheet, means you are representing the same problem in Graphical method. Okay, this is what. Let us take the question we have discussed in the previous video clip. Same question I take again. See this. This is what we discussed. The sum of two positive integers is 15, and their difference is 3. This we have discussed in the last class, and this already you have written. Okay, one more time we write. What is algebraic representation? You take let the numbers be x and y. You are going to take the difference of the two numbers. So one of the number let it be larger, other smaller. So you take x greater than y. So you wrote here x plus y is 15. Sum of the two numbers 15. x minus y is uh, 3. This is as per question. You get a pair of equation. This we have already done in the previous class. If you are expressing the situation in the form of a pair of equation, that is what called algebraically representing the problem, representing the situation. Okay. Now we are going to uh, graphically represent it. Graphically represent it means what? You are drawing graph of both the lines in the same graph sheet you are drawing. I taken here x plus y is 15. We found the solutions 6, 9, 8, 7. 10, 5. These are points on the graph sheet. So you are plotting these points. Like that x minus y is equal to 3. If you put x or you can write when you are finding solution you used to write y in terms of x. Right. So y is equal to x minus 3 you are writing. Then you put x by uh, some value for x. If you put x is equal to 3 y will be 0. If you put x is equal to 0 y is minus 3. You put x is 1, y is 1. So here all the points are coming 3, 0, 0, minus 3, 4, 1. Okay, now you plot these points. First, plot all these three points and draw its line. Then you plot these points and draw the line. Here are the lines drawn on the same graph sheet. Okay, so first line is the first line going. I plot the, the points on it. I got this line. This is, this is the first line, okay? This is what, uh, what is that line exactly? This line is what? X plus Y is? This line is X plus Y is equal to 15, this line. And the other line is X minus Y is equal to 3. X minus Y is equal to 3. So you are plotting the points. Okay, when you plot, I have plotted the second set here 0 minus 3, 3, 0, 4, 1. This point plot and this line is coming. When I check, the two lines intersect at the point. Here is the point of intersection. I have taken the scaling at 2, 4, 6, 8 like that. Okay, here is 9 on the x-axis and 6 on the y-axis. 9, 6 is the point of intersection. Exactly, 
what you can understand is that the year just you are going to see how to represent, that's all. So one more thing we discuss. Okay? What we discuss is if the two lines intersect at the point, that point of intersection is the solution of that equation, that pairs of equation. If they don't intersect, no solution. If they coincide, one line coincide on the other, every point is a solution. Means infinitely many solutions. That we discuss in the next exercise. Actually now, just want to know how to draw the lines. Lines drawn, that is graphical representation, right? The point of intersection gives you solution. You see x is equal to 9, y is equal to 6 is the solution. Uh, see, add them, 15 coming, subtract them, 3 coming, right? So now, next we are going to see more examples or exercise questions how to represent algebraically, graphically. Yes, now uh, from exercise 3.1, question number 1 we do. I read out an interesting question here. Aftaf tells his daughter, 7 years ago, I was 7 times as old as you were then. Also, three years from now, I shall be three times as old as you will be. Represent the situation algebraically and graphically, like the previous question. So, you write the question. I have not written the complete question. You write. Of course, you are going to uh, see how to express algebraically. So, you take the daughter's age as x and the father's age as y presently. Now, okay. Then what will be the first case we are discussing about ages 7 years ago. So daughter was x minus 7, 7 years less. Father was at that time y minus 7. These two make ready. What the present age is only x and y taken. So 7 years ago they, they were x minus 7 and y minus 7. What is given? Father's age 7 years ago was 7 times the daughter's age at that time. So, how we write the y minus 7 is equal to 7 times x minus 7. You write it in the simple, open the bracket and write it in the simplest form. Write it in the standard form. Okay, this is the first equation. Right, arrange x term, y term, constant term, equal to 0. Otherwise, you can write what? y is equal to 7x minus 42 also, you can write, no problem. Now go to the second case. The second case discuss about ages 3 years later, 3 years from now. Okay? Present age is x and y. After 3 years, what will be their ages? x plus 3 and father y plus 3. Daughter will be x plus 3, 3 more. A father also simultaneously, 3 more. So x plus 3 and y plus 3. What they told about the ages 5 years from now? So what they say here? Father will be three times as old as the daughter. Three years later. So, y plus three is equal to three times x plus three. Three times the daughter's age, three years later. So, this bracket open and simplest form, right? You get three x minus y uh, plus six is equal to zero. These two equations are only algebraic way of expressing the given question. Now, we will move to graphical representation as we did in the previous question. So you need solutions you know. So you write better way of writing the first equation y is equal to how many x. In that way if you express it is easy for you to find out the solutions. So if I write y is inside then y is equal to 7x minus 42 coming. You put some values for x and get the value of y. Uh, these are ages you know. Little careful when you are putting the ages. Because if you are putting here 0 or something like that, now daughter is uh, 1 year old and what will be the father's age comes in negative. It makes meaningless things. So, what to do? Anything we can put for drawing graph is not matter, but we are doing it, you know, it is a lively problem. So, I put here x is 12, I start with 12. When daughter is 12, uh, father's age, as per this equation, you put x is equal to 12, y is 42. Okay, uh, then uh, x is 13 I put, y is 49 coming. It's substitute here, x is equal to 13, get the value of y. Like that x is equal to 14, you put uh, 56. So, when father, uh, daughter was 12, father was 42, like that. 
13 and 49, the ages 14 and 56. These three points you plot and draw this line. This line has been drawn. You take the scaling accordingly because your values in the x axis goes up to maximum of 14. You take the scaling 2, 4, 6, 8, okay, as per your graph sheet. And there is no negative ages coming, so the negative side of the graph not required here. Y axis or x axis, negative side is not required, only positive side you take. Like this, go to the other equation here, also substitute the two double values. So at x is 8, if I put uh, here coming 30, 10 I put 36 coming, 12 I put uh, 42 coming. So this also, this 8, 30, 10, 36, 12, 42, you plot and draw on the same graph sheet uh, the second line. Second line has been drawn like this here. Okay, these two. It is not required where the points, where the line intersect is not the question asking about. Question asking you to draw the graph. To make it more meaningfully, we have taken the ages, uh, you know, uh, ages are taken here uh, uh, that meaningfully. So, when you are drawing, you will note down that the point of intersection is uh, 12, comma 42 coming in my graph. So, daughter's age is uh, 12 and father's age is uh, 42 presently. This is the solution you are obtaining. But solution is not asked in the question. You have to make the equation and you have to draw the graph. Your job is over. Don't worry about the solution now. Okay. Now I have taken the other two questions. Question 2 and 3 from the same exercise. You have to do by yourself homework. Write the equations. Draw the graph. Okay. That is the first exercise. Finishes there. The next we will move to the solution of linear equation in two variables.